So as you guys know, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is on its way. It's about to come out and we're all excited. But me being the thoughtful person I am, I started asking myself one question. And then I asked this question and I was all like, is this the last Legend of Zelda game that we are going to get? Boo this man! No! And the answer that popped into my head is like, yes. Yes, this is the last Legend of Zelda game that we are going to get. And you're like, and I know, I know. You're like, how can this be? How, how can, how, how possibly can it be that this is going to be the last Legend of Zelda game? And I'm telling, I'll tell you right now. Oh shit, here we go again. Let's do a little recap, right? For those of you who don't know, right? In Breath of the Wild, we destroy not kill no Bruh. sorry we destroy not seal we destroy ganon okay Kay. you're with me so far you're with me all right we destroy him he's done he's eliminated he he is beyond he's he's done he's just done he's he's been destroyed it, the, the, literally the, the the quest says destroy ganon like uh, that's the quest destroy ganon all right so now we destroyed him all right so those of you who don't know we are going to be fighting Demise. Now, people that don't play Legend of Zelda, but like the game, they're like, yo, who the hell is this Demise guy? It's the first, it's the final boss of Skyward Sword. Y you fight him, you, you beat him, you seal him away, you get sealed in the Master Sword, and guess what happens to the Master Sword? It looks like it's beat up, right? Right? So, most people are saying that due to the logo of Legend of Zelda Tears of a Kingdom, it has a snake eating itself, right? It has a snake eating itself. But I looked at the logo closer and there's two snakes and they look like they're eating each other. So I'm guessing one of these snakes can be Link and the other snake can be Demise. You get me? So bringing that to your attention, right? I have a possible theory of why this is going to be the last game. All right. So most people are saying that this snake reverse it's a never ending cycle. Correct. All right. So those of you who don't know, when you beat the mines in the first game, Skyward Sword, he curses Link and Zelda that they, he will forever haunt them and there will always be a conflict. That's where Ganon comes in and that's where you fight Ganon all the time. And they're basically like in a never ending cycle of this. But as you guys know, all cycles must come to an end, right? No, I sure God. hope so, right? <laughs> You, you, you're bored, you live, you die, and you go on to the beyond. Hopefully, that, that's the theory behind that. But um, they never get to go on to the beyond because there's a part of them always is being reincarnated and fighting. That's my theory. Anyway, um, these two snakes, one of them is Link and the other one's Demise. And I believe the Legend of Zelda Tears of Kingdom is going to have two different endings. All right. Yes, I said two different endings, meaning one's going to be the true ending and the other one's going to be like, well, you wanted the, the, the other one's going to be like Nintendo saying, yeah, all right, Miyamoto, Miyamoto wanted, you know, everybody was asking for a timeline till we finally got the timelines and we have three different timelines. You know, if the hero dies, if the hero wins and I guess if the hero gets lost or something like that, I don't remember, it was weird and very hard to follow. Go watch a YouTube video if you want to understand the timelines. Um, they have it. It's like an hour long. I watched it. So I sort of understand it. But anyway, we get these timelines, right? So we get all these timelines, whether Ganon, well, once would get the hero wins, the other one, the hero dies and Ganon wins. And then I believe the other one was the hero vanishes or something like that. Um, so all these timelines come in to one, one stop, one, one game, which is Breath of the Wild. Therefore, you get all the tunics, you get your, your event. You get all the tunics from every hero, Twilight Princess, you know, Majora's Mask, all of them, all of them are there. All right. Even Majora's Mask is there, which is kind of absurd and crazy, but all of them are there. So now the Master Sword gets broken, right? Right. In, in Tears of Kingdom, obviously the Master Sword's messed up. Whatever was sealed in the Master Sword from Demise goes back to its original body, which is that dude that's on the ground like this. And then he looks at you. Right, uh, Master Sword gets destroyed. Then goes back to Demise. Demise has now, he, Demise has been now, I guess, reborn. 
or came back to life somehow with this mummified statue which is under the high rule castle by the way because that's what opens up that's when the skies goes up and that's where you go exploring and you find all this stuff i believe in tears of a kingdom you have to find these tears put the master sword back together you're with me so far we have to put the master sword back together and in this one there's going to be a quest whether you have let's say there's like an absurd amount of numbers to collect right let's say you have to collect for example 250 tears right and you own for the master sword to make it the most powerful as it's ever been in its whole entire you know century because the master sword lives on for like all the timelines it's just sealed away or somewhere else right let's say you have to collect 250 right but you, uh, the requirement to beat demise is only 150 right or 100 or 90 or 80 because nobody everybody doesn't want to play a hard game I just fuck the door. whatever whatever it is we do whatever you want to do right so you collect 80 80 let's say 80 or 100 right of these tiers and then you go fight demise you beat them and then that's when the cycle starts that's when the first snake wins demise the demise getting snake wins right and um the cycle starts you then, then you travel on to um high uh, skyward sword and then you go down the cycle again to come back to this one you're with me so far now if you collect all 250 tiers of the kingdom the master sword is so powerful that it actually can destroy demise it can destroy com completely eradicate evil like this is the, the strongest the master sword has ever been and you go and you fight demise and you really kill him the snake of link and zelda win and they eat demise in one in one ending demise eats link and the other ending link eats demise you get me so that's what i think that's going to happen so because then they could put everything back together but they can also open the path for another game or for you know more future no more this or maybe a greater evil will come in maybe maybe all the gods like rebel or something like that like the three gods like rebel and they're like we're, we're coming, coming after you link like or something like that because that was like the most entertaining thing that i'm getting ahead of myself that's for another game but anyway so i'm pretty sure that this is this is exactly what's going to happen and um if you do you know subscribe subscribe because i had to put all this stuff together and hopefully you can follow along i know i'm not the best person to explain things but i'm trying to get better so subscribe or i'll cancel your favorite waifu all right and let me know what your favorite zelda game is all right